Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 2. As per usual, we are just jumping on in here and today we are going to be tackling the caverns under Sanzibar. We're not going to help the struggling victim with the rats. He can be food. Let's go to this sheep. Oh, we totally explored these. I thought we hadn't. Well, shit. I think that means... I think that means we've done... All of them except for Atlantium. Except maybe we did Atlanteums too. I honestly don't remember. Let's find out. If we haven't done Atlanteums, we'll do that. If we have. Well. If we have, I don't know what we're gonna do today. Maybe do some black battles or something. Now, I was gonna say, why is Atlantium not mapped? But it is. Sometimes it just takes where are we a second to realize. Alright, go to linked sheet. Have we been here? Alright, so we have we have not explored this. So Atlantium Dungeons it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get Levitate running just in case. Uh uh! No entry! Good joke. Private, keep out. Buy tickets to the arena, the Monster Bowl, and the Coliseum at your local blacksmith. Hurry, limited time offer. Not that limited. Keep out. Oh, it's Necromancers. Yeah, no. <sighs> I was gonna say, yeah, these guys cast Finger of Death. Which, Brunhilda is dead. Yeah. They're not particularly dangerous, aside from their ability to instantly kill your entire party like that. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 get us back to Atlantium here. I mean, if that's the caliber of what we're going to be fighting in Atlantium's dungeon, we may be a little bit underleveled for this. Uh, I don't know. We'll go ahead and map everything. We will try to map. I want to just see if we can map the halls. It appears that the halls don't really have any encounters in them. It's just a bunch of keep out doors. Okay, so now my question is, is there secrets? Because this is obviously not all of the dungeon. Hypno Beetles and Carnage. I don't know why the game is not letting me run anymore. Like, we used to run from fights with, like, no issue. And now the game is just like, that's a no-go. So I think it's 1-2 is awaken. There we go. Chunk and shoot, gold leaf. Doesn't need to do anything, because yeah, Hypno Beetles are pretty squishy. There. Not worried. Alright, what do we got behind this one? Thieves! They steal all of your gems. Uh, but my front row... Let's see where are my counts. I know I've got... Swell has a hundred gems on him, almost two hundred gems on him. I'm honestly not that worried. Like, if he loses them, it's not gonna be that terrible. It'll be obnoxious, but not, you know, game ruining. It's mostly the back row. Oh, our whole party is in the fight here. That makes me mildly worried. Uh, let me see here. Grab my list of spells, because I think Goldleaf has Paralyze. Maybe? She's level 10? Maybe. Let's let's find out. 5-4? Yeah. Well, we held some of them. That's okay. Dark Mage is down. Mildly perturbed about that. No one has had gems stolen yet. We'll go ahead and heal Dark Mage back up, because I need my blasters. Rove goes down. I basically just need one of them to be up so that they can soften them up so that my melees can then absolutely ruin them. So what I'm going to be doing now, I think, is just, like, working towards getting all of them damaged, because once they're damaged, like, my melees can generally one-shot them. They can't one-shot them from full health. There we go. All right, we're gonna rest. We're gonna search. Let's see what we get. A shitload of money, a good number of gems, and a shaman pipe that I'm most likely never going to use. 
Harry, Carrie, and No Name can be found simply sitting around in the cavern under Volcania. Yeah, we've already found them. Go ahead and have Dark Mage levitate us. And looking at our gem counts, it does not look like anyone had their gems stolen, thankfully. Uh, where are we? It does say that it's a rare occurrence. A marble statue of a winged beast has a button protruding from its pedestal. Press it. I want to explore this. All right, there's nothing here. Yeah, sure. Poof. Okay. We are here now on the overworld. I don't know where here is. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Dragons strike from above. Ooh. All right, fireball. The wyverns are, are less worrying than that cloud dragon is. Mostly because I assume that cloud dragon is going to breathe fucking fire on my party. Come on, guys. Okay, dragon's down. Less worried. Brunhilda is dead. Because I accidentally fucking healed Swell instead of her. Mild salt about that. We'll go ahead and leave this for now. And now we'll try and get into it. Fuck. A lot of money. A ray gun. Some gems. Nestle in the open air pavilion, rest the gourmet. He wishes to speak with a true Epicurean now. Alright, so we, we have been here before. This is apparently the gourmand. But more importantly, oh, we can't swim. Ah, uh, gold leaf? Cast. Actually, Dark Mage. It's 2 1? No, 2 6. And I want to teleport. And this is going to take us, yeah, to Slayer's Castle. And we'll just leave because we know that I think it's right here is Sanzibar? Yes. Okay, so at least. At least we. We are found. Well, hey guys, we killed a dragon. I'm pretty pleased with that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna rest. We're gonna come save at the inn. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention to how much XP we gained from that fight. Anybody ready to level? No. We got three that are nearing it. But... <laughs> Not near enough, I'm afraid. So let's go ahead and this is why I wish that I had town portal. Like I wanna I wanna level gold leaf, but the town like you don't get it until 15th level. Just just to speed up like us running through these towns so that like instead of doing that we can just like I can cast a spell and bam we're in Atlantium instead of having to run through the portals every single time. And actually, while we're here, we're gonna hit the end and save, just so that we have a save point here if if I get ganked in this dungeon. Cause this one doesn't seem to be too particularly friendly compared to the others up to this point. Was there? Oh, I was gonna say there's no secrets, but now we got one. All right. Kill those damn sprites. Kill the sprites because they curse our stuff. Come on. Hey, guys. Just, just hit it. Thank you. My god. It's not that hard. Alright, and our melee should yeah, have that. And we'll search. Fiery death. Some gold, a magic charm. What does that do? Magic charm. Plus 10 magic resistance if worn, and you can use it to cast protection from magic. Eh. Not, uh, not too interested in that, at least not at the moment. I'm sure that there are people out there that are just having absolute conniption fits because I'm not, like, hyper-optimizing my gear and stuff, but... I don't know what to tell ya. We'll go ahead and get into this fight. Fireball these killer cadavers. There, and this is just down to the melees. 
A super flare. Don't really care. Bunch of super sprites. Go ahead and kill these guys. There. 40 hit points. Accidentally shooting with Dark Mage. I'm still not used to the new party turn order because people are faster. Some plus one plate armor. Nice. Plus three longbow. Also nice. An old rotting wooden statue appears unstable. A small but sturdy button extends from the nose. Press it. Well, the last time we did this, it was a bad idea. But I do like pressing buttons. The statue explodes, releasing angry monsters. Okay, some woodsmen. They have range attacks. We'll, we'll do this. Oh, and our party's fucked up. Rove is only unconscious, though. All right, well, if they're woodsmen, that means that they're susceptible to fire. And we'll go ahead and get Rove back on his feet. And between him and Dark Mage, we should not have any issues. Okay, search. A pittance in gold. Sure, why not? Well, like, we've been pretty well trained that we're just, like, not supposed to press the buttons. They've been nothing but bad things up to this point. Secret walls? No. Dead end and death. Well. I don't know about you guys. That just screams we need to go down there. I'll probably go back to town and rest at the end so that I don't lose my mapping here. Can I just run? Ah. <sighs> I just want- I just want to run for convenience's sake. So that I spend less time in combat, but alright, I'll murder everybody. Sure, why not. Buy a key from a locksmith and win a battle of the same color in each forum. Go then to the castles and find a bishop of that key color's battle. Okay. The game is like slowly telling us what we have to do to finish the main quest line. Which is also the same information you get if you do all of the, um, colored sign interleave crap. Run? Thank Christ. I did not want to fight all those jugglers. Alright, and we'll just go back in. Okay. Well, you know, seriously guys, just... Where's Dark Mage? No, I don't want to exit. Just teleport us. There we go. All right, what's up here? Cobalt captains and insect plagues. We surprise them. We'll fireball these suckers down. The insect plagues cannot swarm us from the back row, and I don't believe they advance. So that was poor placement for them, which worked out well for me. Some miscellaneous goodies, bunch of plus two stuff. Not really too chuffed about it. Mutant Swines, Giant Ogres, and Night Stalkers. I think we can probably handle this. And if nothing else, we can Fireball them, which is actually, I think, what I'm going to have Dark Mage do to the back row there. Because if they're going to make themselves good targets for a Fireball as opposed to a Lightning Bolt, I am more than happy to apply it. There we go. Not bad. Lightning, horrible, horrible lightning. Bunch of money, bunch of gems, a cinder pipe. What is that? Probably like another blow pipe, but fire, if I had to guess. Yes, it casts fireball, actually. All right, sure. And a plus four Naginata and some ring mail. That's all on chunk, are those things? They are all unaligned. Which is really nice. Like, that's that's actually a pretty good find. And Chunk is also dead. <laughs> because of course he is. And you don't have enough spell points to cast Teleport because you never do. Go back up to town. See, I can't actually... I know there's a temple here. But I honestly don't recall where. No... No, no, Mage's Guild. Here, let's bring up map. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Chunk, get your ass out of the dirt. Come on now. Okay. 
So I saw this. Becoming a hero or heroine of your dreams for a thousand gold. It just says it gives you the skill hero or heroine. I don't know what that does, so I'm going to avoid it for now. Uh, hurl the spear, let fly the discus, spend 500 gold to be an athlete. This says it gives us the athlete skill. Again, I have no idea what it does. Probably worth it, but... Eh... What is this? Learn the skill linguist again. Unsure. So I do want to check, because he's all right, He's using a Naginata plus six. Holy shit. The cinder pipe, though. Trade item with Rove. We're going to give that to Rove. Because not only is it better than his blowpipe, but it's free fireballs. And according to where are we, it has 60 uses. So yeah, I don't think... I don't believe you can recharge things. So once it's out of them, it's out of them, but that is that is a lot of fireballs, and I rarely use fireball anyway, so I think probably going to be worth it. Okay, so Swell, give us Light, Dark Mage, you can teleport us. And I'm actually going to have him teleport us again. Just because I want to skip these encounters and spend more time exploring. Giant Ogres, Friars, which Energy Blast, and Champions. This should be a reasonable encounter. I'm going to hit the Friars because Energy Blasts are ranged. And then everybody else. Oh, the Champions are immune to magic. Resistant to magic, at the very least. So, in that case... We'll just stab them. Here, Brynhilda, why don't you make yourself useful and cast, like... Here, cast Heroism. Why did I do 1-1? One, one? I'm an idiot. I... 2-2 two, two is Heroism. Not that I think we're really actually going to need it. <laughs> At this point, I think we've pretty well... Yeah. Some gold, some ring mail. Brynhilda's almost dead. That's okay. How are we looking on food? We are fine. Another fight? What a twist. Wind bears and dancing bones. Uh, this shouldn't actually be much of an issue, I don't think. Because the wind mares are not immune to magic. They have some resistance, but it's not enough. And we get gassed. Nice. Thanks, chunk. Damn halfling. Gnome, dwarf, whatever the hell he is. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a fight there. I'm sure there's gonna be a fight there. Probably also a fight there. We are going to be exploring these areas. Do not worry. I just want to kind of map so we know what we're kind of coming up against. All right, werewolves and brainless ones. Werewolves are kind of beefy, but I don't think they're going to be beefy enough and they don't have magic resistance. Which means between the fireballs and the melee, we make short work of them. Dove's blood, ooh, plus six Warhammer on Devon. What is the alignment on that? It is good aligned, which... I think that means tentatively Goldleaf can use it if she can use a Warhammer, which... She actually can. It's two-handed, though. Which, she has a shield, so I'm probably actually going to have her pass on that. We also found... Another way to pass through here, but more importantly, we're going to go back to town and I'm going to save. Again, not not out of fear, but just because I don't want to have to remap everything. Oh, no. Oh, God. Where am I? Oh, entrance of town. Okay, fair enough. Random encounters. Okay, dark mage. And then light. All right. Let's poke around here a little bit. What do we got? Statue of an unknown scholar kneels with a book in hand. Read the pages. Sure. After reading the pages, you are enlightened. Okay, according to... Where are we? This is giving us 10 intellect. To all characters whose intellect is less than 50. That it says less than 50 makes me wonder... Let me check something here. Oh my god, your spell failed. Why would your spell fail? Can we not teleport from here? There we go. 
Now let's go upstairs. Let's go back downstairs. Dark Mage, 5-5. Five, five. Okay, so what is our intellect? Our intelligences are in the 20s. Read them again. Because encounters reset. Now if we rest... Oh... Oh, that's a big deal. Because not only does this mean that I can get my entire party's intellect, like, across the board up to 50 here, but more importantly, it means that I can go back to Volcania and we can listen to that giant and listen to it sing for more hit points as well. So, all right. So we're going to have to do this a couple times. I'm apologizing for the terribleness, but... Let's see, we want to go seven squares? Yes. Because, yeah, this is this is going to be convenient for our mages, mostly. Because, like, Dark Mage is going to go from... Oh, do I need to... Because, yeah, like, all of our mages, like, both of our mages now... Dark Mage was previous, I think he had, like, 40 spell points. Both him and Rove now have 99. So, like, that's... Substantial, Like, that's very helpful. I'm not going to bother doing it again because neither Brunhilda nor Drog have mana. So, kind of useless. Okay, so we're going to come up. We're going to save again. Uh, and back in, I guess. Like, that's... That is good to know. I wondered about that with the one under Volcania, but by the time the thought had occurred to me, I was just like, eh, whatever. I'm not too, too chuffed about it. Now, though, oh boy, like that's substantial. Hypno beetles and rabid rodents. Sure, why not? Uh, go ahead and just fireball them. So it does not affect their damage, I don't believe. It's purely just more spell points, which I guess in the long run does give them more damage. Accidentally resting. Um, but it's, it's just a convenience thing. More fiery death. More teleportation, all that good jazz. Uh, Dark Mage, I'm gonna have you fireball, actually, the back row. Oh, these woodsmen have some magic resistance. All right. Uh, we'll lightning bolt the front row here. Let the melees kinda chew through them a little bit easier. A lot of woodsmen. They do, I think, so. Yeah, it says that they summon help. So that's probably part of what's improving their uh, longevity here a little bit. Come on, guys, you got this. It's just one more dude. There we go. We'll rest and we will search. Some gold and a holy charm. Uh, what does that do? Holy Charm lets us turn undead, so it is functionally useless to me. All right. Let's see what else we have. Burglars, Friars, Hypno Beetles. Burglars steal all your gold. So, primary target. They only have 20 hit points. I was going to say, so if, if Rove rolls really well, like, we'll be fine. I don't know that anyone had their gold stolen. I hope no one had their gold stolen. Did anybody have their gold stolen? No, we're good. All right. Friars energy blasting us. Hypno beetles sleeping the back row. What is awaken? And then fireball. Some gold, some gems. Nothing too, too particularly choice. I'm still super hyped about that freaking intelligence. Like, holy crap. Okay. And yeah, like I said, we'll probably next episode make a pit stop back in uh, Volcania to get everyone's um, endurance cranked up. Raids and winged steeds. I'm just gonna run if I can, because it's not worth fighting that. Alright. Dark Mage. And we want to go one square. All right, so we have these two areas here. Rangers, warrior boars, and soldiers. Sure. Fiery death. 
and more fiery death. Flailer and Fumbler have been taken captive and chained among many others at the Pearl Islands. Okay. I assume Fumbler is probably a thief. Flailer, maybe a knight, who knows? Let's see, can I get in here? Ha! Fucking jugglers! Alright, fine. I fucking hate these things so much. They're just annoyance. Like, just the whole purpose is to just be a pain in the ass. It's the worst kind of enemy. Nothing too interesting there. At least the game, like, remembers your party layout. So you don't have to manually rejigger it every time. Metallic statue of an Atlantean deity stares at you intensely. Touch it. No, we have learned. We have learned not to fuss with that stuff. Burglars, carnage spirits, and slashers. Slashers apparently have assassinate, which is instant kill. Uh, but I guess we're just gonna start. Yeah, I was gonna say, there it goes. Those are bo they're both unconscious, they're not dead. Hmm. A small mercy, perhaps. One that Goldleaf is going to have a, a bad time probably keeping up with. Ooh. That's just fucking terrible. And there we go. Death strikes the party. See, we should all still have... Yeah, we're all still okay. We still have our intelligence. We didn't really lose anything, I think. Let me get my mouse on the map here. I think we just, like, lost these two areas here that we mapped. So nothing too big, I don't think. Let me check. Oh, it was just the one area, apparently. All right, well. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Friars, foot soldiers, kobold captains. This is going to be a cakewalk, comparatively. And then the melees can just handle this. And of course, Chunk botches it. We'll rest. We'll cast light. See what we got in here. If anything. Every time you look at this statue, it appears to be moving. Touch it? No! I touched the book statue because books tend to be, you know, a good thing. But minor devils. Minor devils apparently cast fireballs. Cast... Four, six... That's what we call time distortion. All right. So we're going to duck out of here. Oh, we did miss a... We did lose a little bit of progress on the map in this upper section. Nothing important, just random encounter squares, but... That's okay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and come back to the tavern, and the inn, rather. And I think I'm going to call it. And next time... Actually, before we call this... I'm sure we've got some... We've, we've got some training here. Where is my... Where is my map? Give me my map. There we go. And what did I just agree to? Oh, uh, I just paid. Maybe not. Hmm. I think we, we don't have enough money for the Mage's Guild here, but that's actually tempting. I think we're actually going to do that. There. Because that way... I think this Mage's Guild has some of the better spells. Oh my, fucking seriously, goblins. Jesus Christ. Yes, what do you guys have? Eight, two, and three, which is megavolts and meteor shower, and then nine, one, and two, which are implosion and inferno. High level stuff, but I'm going to be glad that we've got it when we, when we need it. All right. Go ahead and train, 13 hit points. Ah, oh, 1,000 XP away, 800 XP away. Nice, well, we got one level up out of it, so I guess that counts for something. Now, we are gonna go ahead and come back and save. Uh, so as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time, and next time we are probably gonna go and pop over to Volcania, get everybody's endurance up, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll buy a bunch of skill potions and we can hammer out the Black Holy Crown. That'll be like another 200,000 experience points. I would say we could start working on getting people their pluses. Like, if you do that, it's, I think, like, you get like a million experience points or something for it. It's a substantial amount of XP. 
but I think those might be behind a little bit beyond us. We might be able to cheese some of them with skill potions, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, regardless, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all around.